here at the NXP booth. And who are you? We are uh, from DSTX, and uh, my name is Erik Harkis, uh, CEO of the DSTX and founder. Yeah, my name is Jan Oostu. I'm the CTO for the DSTX company. So you're showing off some really cool uh, tag right here. It's on the luggage. Yeah. There's a special e-ink tag, and what does it do? It, uh, it allows you to update your electronic bag tag from home. So this is a new process that airlines will be able to do soon. So uh, next to passenger check-in, which you're already used to, you can now also check in your uh, baggage uh, from home or from anywhere. So uh, this is, uh, allows you to get a much faster process at the airport. So we believe that you can now drop off your luggage in eight seconds or less than eight seconds. And that's a lot faster than it is currently today. That's super fantastic. Like yeah. people who take business class and first class, they will be super customer for this, but then yeah. everybody else also, right? Exactly, exactly. Initially we target the frequent flyers via the airlines direct. But uh, as soon as a number of airlines are uh, connected to our cloud-based platform, we'll go uh, to customers direct. Maybe even the airlines should start making business selling luggage. Yeah. Right? Could they, could, they could sell for their top customers, maybe get the free luggage. Well, we know that some airlines are very interested in uh, putting the uh, tags in their own store and uh, potentially also suitcases that come with in integrated bag tags. Uh, they, will, they will put it in the store as well. Can you show how it works? Yeah, sure. If you have an NFC enabled phone, you just uh, use an app and then you just basically, once you're done with your check-in process, you get your bag tag here, it's loaded, it's ready to go. It's on the airline's app, basically? Yeah, it's, gonna, it's gonna be provided by the airline. So yeah. it's an airline provided app and they're gonna support the NFC. And then yeah. you just, just basically tap it like a regular uh, NFC. And then when it's done, you can see that it's being updated. And it's uh, zero power right now. As yeah. soon as the, the tag has changed, it just stays like this forever. Correct. Yeah, that's, that's the great thing about the device. It's basically very good at doing nothing, right? That's, uh, you want to have unlimited battery, basically. Exactly. Yeah. That's, exactly. Why, that's why we love yeah. NFC. And you love e-ink. And I love e-ink because it works. <laughs> it's uh, bi-stable. Yeah. And exactly. Uh, so uh, when we use NFC, we don't require battery power. Can you talk about, so how, what's hardware? What's going on in here? Is it secret? What's inside? What can you say? So you have a, do you have a NXP? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's why we're here at the NXP stand. So we have a lot of NXP, uh, NXP components in there. Uh, primar primarily, it's, uh, we're, we're talking about the security. Yeah. So we're using the secure element here with yeah. the, with the And um, it helps us protect uh, the platform as well. So you can, you can have the security of a, uh, a payment card, basically protecting your yeah. your your t your luggage. So you want to make sure that uh, when people that, that people can't just like swipe it and go to another destination with the luggage or something. Exactly. So they can't hijack your luggage. That that's working already. Yeah, it's working. already in. How do you do that? It's quite a difficult technical story, but to keep it uh, fairly simple, we have uh, NXP enabled apps, and we put uh, we load those on the secure element, right? Yeah, much like a payment app. And then we have a cloud platform which is already highly secure by itself and the airline industry is then uh, able to uh, upload via a secure channel uh, the backtech information and we encode it so that it's only working on a single backtech. Nice. So what's the price and when is the availability? Uh, the price is heavily depends on, uh, on volumes uh, but we aim for a price anywhere between 30 US dollars and 40 US dollars. So uh, with that, we hope to be able to unlock the uh, non-frequent flyer market as well. That's awesome because uh, luggage is a huge market, right? It is. It is. Huge. It is huge. And uh, even if it might double the cost of uh, the hardware, it's worth it. You want to have differentiated hardware. It's it's worth it because uh, we also do this for the pas we do this for the passengers for mostly obviously, uh, but we also do this for the airline industry. Airlines in this airlines are under financial pressure. Uh, so anything they can do to, to reduce cost is, 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 uh, is of great benefit uh, to them. And with this new process, uh, it, it helps to shave off time and they can uh, introduce self-service backdrop machines uh, more easily and, and reduce on staff cost. And this kind of stuff is uh, what, what makes their customer stay with the company, with the airline. Like for example, they have these lounges, people pay thousands of euros just so they can have enough miles to go to the lounge, you know? Yeah, yeah. So they wouldn't mind spending uh, like 100 or 200 for a good luggage that has cool technology inside. Yeah, no, exactly. I think we think this is the ultimate co uh, convenience uh, to travel with checked-in bags. 
So uh, it gives you a lot more time to spend uh, behind the customs or in their lounges. And uh, reading this tag is exactly as good as reading on paper, right? No, no, it's even better. Even better? It's even better. So it's higher quality than paper? Yeah, so we, uh, we've tested this with, uh, extensively with Van der Lande Industries. And uh, when we, we did the endurance test, the, uh, we received the statement that the uh, tag, the back tag, outperforms the paper back tag. So it outperforms, it's better. Yeah. And uh, it's not going to get, uh, uh, it's going to stay on the bag. It's, it's definitely going to stay on the bag. Yep. It's not going to be the point that breaks, right? This is gonna, the zipper is going to break before this, right? We think, we think the suitcase is going to crack earlier than, than the tag will. And we've tested this, uh, so we've done, we've done uh, robustness testing. And we know now that with a 25 kilogram suitcase, when we drop this out of an airplane, right on the tarmac, we know the suitcase might crack, but we know the tag st stays in uh, one piece. Nice, that's awesome. And uh, uh, how does it charge? It basically doesn't charge. So it doesn't charge. It doesn't charge. It doesn't charge. No, it, it, it has enough battery life to do an update every day for five years. So if you put it in the normal use, then it's probably going to outlast your suitcase. So you never want to charge it. You don't no. get the power from an FC. That doesn't that doesn't work like that, right? No. Yeah. No. It, it just it just replaces the need for the battery. So if you use NFC, it doesn't use the small coin cell that's in there. So what I just talked about, that's the usage when you use Bluetooth Low Energy. So you can do all these updates for five years if you press the button once. And we can show that uh, with, a, with an iPhone device, because the iPhone is not NFC enabled yet. You can do an update uh, with the Bluetooth. So you have uh, the Bluetooth there? Yeah, so here we have the, uh, our own app. And uh, I can select uh, any uh, destination. So here I type on this one. Press a button on that one. So now it's, it's doing it just over Bluetooth. Yeah, it's doing it over Bluetooth. And here we have Minneapolis, same as on the tag. So the Bluetooth is always sleeping until you push the button. Yes, yep. correct. And now it goes to sleep right away again. And uh, is there any kind of like, uh, there's no way for them to swap out the battery if they'd like in the future or something? No, because we made it IP65, which means it's water resistant. So yeah. uh, if you want to change the battery, then, then uh, that breaches the water resistance uh, of, of the tag. Maybe Samsonite, another partner, could like provide some kind of battery swap warranty. If you need to have it, then they'll just ship you a new one. Yeah, we, th we think with... Um, if they, uh, if, because if people you, might keep the luggage for 10, 15, 20 years. Yeah, true. Uh, but we think that on average, the product life is, is about 10 years. So uh, unless you start using it twice a day, every day for five years, then, then that's, that's what it's spec to do. Uh, but we know even uh, the heaviest of frequent flyers uh, won't make uh, two times a day. So it's, uh, that's a lot. We're, we're, a pretty lot we're pretty confident it will last a very long time. And we're, we're pretty convinced that the penetration of NFC, NFC is going to increase in the coming years. And if a lot of those NFC fields are becoming stronger as well to uh, power more appliances, and we're already quite confident that with the next generation of NFC we can do all these cool things without using a battery at all. And so how soon can I buy this luggage? By the end of the year. By the end of this year for sure? By the end of this year for sure. Cool. We're in production in Q3 this year, so it will come on the market by the end of the year. And how was the show? Did you speak with a bunch of uh, new customers, partners? Well, uh, cu customers, yes, absolutely. And some, some great uh, 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 IT companies in the industry as well, from the airline industry. So uh, it's been a very good show for us, uh, a lot of exposure.